may well be that kind of problem. Doug, how do you think Obama will try to shape, I don't want to say his legacy, but he's got 25 de days left in office. Do you try not to rock the boat? We're already seeing this issue that's come up with Israel. Um, do you sort of try and keep things calm and just hand it over quietly? Well, you remember uh, when Bill Clinton left, there was that Mark Rich pardon, mm -hmm. and uh, Barack Obama spoke to that. He, he, that was outrageous to him. He publicly <laughs> talked about it. So I'm sure he has that in mind, that he knows that even though all the attention is on Trump right now, he's not going to get away with doing something that's considered unethical or inappropriate right now. Why ruin a great, a great presidency? What I cherish for him is that he be transcendent and be this great historical figure that can have impact on the world. I think he could be the greatest former president in all of American history and could impact many nations around the world and have great impact in Africa and some places of the world that are forgotten. My fear is that like a Ramsey Clark or other people we've had in government for a brief period of time, he was attorney general, that they become somewhat radicalized by their socio-political demographic base. And I hope that doesn't happen to him. I hope he remains a hero of all the people and assume some real stature as a former president. Yeah, well, we'll have the two of you to rely on to follow up on. So, Dan Abash and Doug Reed, thank you very much.